Hey all, I just released the very first beta release of Obsidian Excalibrain. It's not yet available in the community plugin store. You will need to use either TFT Hackers Brat plugin or you will need to download the files from GitHub and manually install them yourself. Either way, once you've installed the plugin, you can start it using the command palette action, open Excalibrain. Excalibrain requires the latest version of Excalidraw to be installed, which is 1.6.27, and it also requires the data view plugin to be installed. By default, Excalibrain will infer the relationships of the node. At the center, you will see the node representing the page that's open on the side. Below the page or below this node, you will see the children of this node. These are pages that are referenced, linked in that page. Above the page, you will see its parents and the parents are the pages that have a backlink to this page. On the side, you will see the friends, and friends are pages where there's a mutual reference between this page and that page, i.e. you have the link from this page to that page on this page, and from that page to this page on that page. And then you have the distant relatives in the top right, which are the children of the parent nodes. Now, if you want to be deliberate about these relationships, that's when you can use data view fields. And you simply add these data view fields like parents or based on or author or source or whatever names you like. You can add these data view fields to your document and you can configure in settings which of these fields should be interpreted as a parent relationship, which should be interpreted as a child relationship, and which should be interpreted as a friend relationship. You have different type of nodes. First of all, you have the base node type, which is, as the name suggests, the base default node type that is displayed. You have the inferred nodes, which are the type of relationships that I've just explained earlier without using data view. Then you have the virtual nodes. Virtual nodes are nodes that don't yet have a file created. It's referenced in your document, but there is no file that exists at this time. And then you have the attachment nodes. And as you can expect, those are attachments, i.e. not markdown documents referenced in your page. You can show or hide these different type of nodes, as well as you can customize their display style using the drop-down list and then setting the styles in the plugin settings. Now, these settings work such that everything inherits from the base type and you only need to set the difference to the base type. So for example, if I want to change the font type of the central node, then all I need to do is I need to click the toggle button that I want to set a different font for the central node style. And with that, I've redefined my central node style and it will have a handwritten font like in the example that I show. Also, you can set the style of nodes based on tags that appear on the page. You will need to add the tag, including the hashtag, in a comma-separated list in the settings. And once the tag is added to the list, then in the drop-down list, you can choose that specific tag and you can change the style as you wish. For example, you can add an emoji as a prefix to display that node differently, or you can even change the border color or shape or uh, whatever about that node so it stands out from the rest.
as a result of watching this quick demonstration, you will go ahead to download the plugin and give it a try. Enjoy. Thank you.